Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, in this era, and this is why I, again, you, 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 you know, I, I'm up here, so I kind of bear my soul and things all the time. So, um, but I just, I just hate to see the saints deceived. I mean, you know, the devil been tricking us for a long time. You understand? And uh, but how many of you thank God for His grace? Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for His grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. And he's been tricking us a long time, and, and the reason is why he's able to do it is because somewhere we don't believe God. We, we, we believe God can do it, but do you believe God will do it for you? <laughs> I ain't going to get no help on that. <laughs> See, you believe God. You can talk about the Lord. You can talk about how good God is. But the only way you're going to see God do it for you, I declare you got to trust him. I'm telling you. Now, you hear a kid out there because that's, that's, that was what our grandmama, her mama, that's what she taught us. You got to trust him. <laughs> Is that a James up now? Glory to God. Amen. You got to trust him. Now, and, and, and in that trust, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. All of your common sense. Your natural sense is telling you opposite of what God is saying. And, and then, then what you are familiar with, your experience, your culture, where you come from, all of that is trying to tell you, you must be out of your mind. But with the little bit of religion you got, with the little bit of faith you got, you said, but I know, but I believe God can do anything. Come on, saints of God. Glory to God. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, that fire ain't out yet. Amen. See, that's still a little fire burning. I still believe God can do anything. Now, I'm, now I'm telling you, y'all, I'm... I'm allowed to get selfish today, but I, I, I'm up here for y'all too, okay? Amen. But I'm telling you right there, I can get selfish in Jesus' name and just run all over this church in Jesus' name. Where the pastor at? There he is on the floor. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Why should I believe something good is going to happen to me? I know there's all kind of positive thinking, thinking and we all made in the image of God, so yeah, you can positive, think they got folk, positive confessions and all of that. Amen. Praise the Lord. But what I want you to know is I want you to go deeper than that. I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. Why should I believe something good is going to happen to me? Well, first of all, Psalms 118 and 24. Glory to God. Psalms 118 and 24, very familiar passage. Praise the Lord. Look what it says. This is what? This is what? This is what? This is what? The day which the Lord has made, so we will what? Rejoice and be glad in it. The reason why I can have the expectation of something good happening to me is because God made the day. God makes every day. Are y'all with me, saints of God? Amen. I can believe it in the midst of everything else that I see. I can say, hold on, devil. You ain't made not one day. You created all kind of confusion in every day. But this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. See, don't, you, don't wait to see what's going to happen. That's too late. You got to get your will lined up today, this day. Glory to God. The second reason, the second reason, when God makes the day, let's look and see what he puts in this day. I want you to know, Lamentations 3, 22 and 23, that God puts his divine mercies in every day. The Bible says, it is of the Lord's mercies 
that we are not consumed. Because his what? Compassion what? Fail not. They are what? New. When? Every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I can say something good is going to happen to me, not because I'm good, but because God is good. His compassion fails not. His mercies are new every morning. Somebody ought to thank God right there in Jesus' name. Every morning. Every morning. So yesterday's failure can't keep me out of today's mercies. Yesterday's mistake can't keep me out of today's mercies because his compassion fails not. His mercies endure forever. Are y'all hearing me say to God? Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you open your eyes up, you open up to new mercies, to the new love of God in Jesus' name. And it's because of his faithfulness. Ain't that something? Lord Jesus, let me get on down the road. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. All right? The next reason why I can believe something good is going to happen to me, uh, amen, uh, very, much, very familiar, Matthew 6 and 11, because God says this. He says, in Matthew 6 and 11, he says, give us what? This day, I what? Every day. Divine provision, all the economy, all the prices, all the economy, all the prices. Look what they're charging. Look what they're doing. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily provision. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory. This is why I can declare it. Don't matter whether the economy is going up. Going down or sideways? Guess what? Give us, come on now. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. This day, amen. And I'm telling you, tomorrow, guess what you're going to say? This day, amen, because it's every day. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Go ahead and thank it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Another reason. All right, I'm moving good. Praise the Lord. Another reason. Why I can believe something good is going to happen to me, amen, uh, is in Psalms, the 68th division in verse 19. Psalm 68 and verse 19. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord, who what? Does, what does he do daily? Who daily loadeth us with benefits even the God of our salvation. God is saying that every day I got a load of benefits. You ask for your provision, but he said, oh, I got more than that. Every day come with a load of provision. And because God brings a load of provision, every day I can expect something good to happen to me. Loaded. Look at your David and say, loaded. Loaded. Loaded with benefits. Five verses in the 103rd division lets us, gives us a glimpse. Amen? Give us a glimpse. See, and this is why you got to keep this in your mouth and in your heart. But the 103rd division of Psalms, I'm going to look at verses 1 through 5. Amen? We're going to get a glimpse of what's loaded every day. These benefits. Amen? Glory to God. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Watch it now because I want you to hold on to this. I'm going back. I'm going there in a little bit. Amen. Bless the Lord. What? And what else? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, do what? Bless his name. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And what else? 
Come on, thank the Lord. Just wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Because if you begin to bless him, mama and some others confirm, go back. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the basics. Let's just go back to blessing him. Let's just go back to praising him. Let's just go back to what y'all remember? Y'all remember we was what? You know, before we had a little money and good stuff, we had time. You know, once you get more money, the more money you get and the more stuff you get, the less time you have for the Lord. Y'all, y'all know that? <laughs> <laughs> See, because I got to go to my house. You forgot the Lord gave it to you? I got to go wash my car. Look like it's going to rain Sunday. I can't drive it. I drive, if it rain, I don't care if I clean it. The very day I'm going to drive it is Sunday, and I'm going to give God. He gave me this one, and he's going to give me another one too. Come on. Are y'all with me? Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Forget not all his benefits. Let's look at them. Who forgiveth, verse 3, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Glory to God. Who healeth all thine diseases. Watch it. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. And for all us that like to eat, who satisfy our mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. In other words, what you eat ain't going to kill you, but it's going to give you life. Come on, thank the Lord in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. Each day is loaded with this. Say loaded. Loaded with this. Why should I expect or believe that something good is happening to me? Because the Lord has made the day. And in the day, he creates new mercies each day, the goodness of the Lord. He gives us a daily provision, divine provision in Jesus' name, divine mercies, divine provision, and divine benefits in Jesus' name. I'm going to give you another good reason, and I want to speak specifically to you that are looking in and you that are in the building. Another good reason is that you should watch it. I believe uh, something good is happening to me or for me, amen, because you're a part of this church. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Glory to God. You're a part of New Living Word. Go ahead and thank God. It, you ought to have the expectation that I'm God's best. God chose me. Oh, come on, thank the Lord. You ought to have the expectation. I know the Lord is with me. You ought to know God is on my side. And if God is for me, who can be against me? I ought to know that I've got dominion and authority, and I can stand on that word in the name of Jesus. Give God a shout right there in Jesus' name. Huh?